The game Plague Inc. is pretty popular right now. You know, the one where you create a disease and you have it go out into humanity and you try to destroy the entire human race. Um, it's topical, I guess, for some reasons. Well, there's a lot of spin-off versions on mobile. Spin-off is the nice way to put it, but uh, let's see if any of them are any good. Let's start with this first one, Infection. This seems to be like the most popular kind of one that at least I see all the time. I'm just gonna go with the first thing that popped in my head and um, I don't even know why is that how you spell it interesting so we have a lot of different pathogens to choose from which most are locked seems a little familiar all right so we got to figure out a country to infect the first person let's just see where are we gonna choose let's do australia i feel like that'd be a random one wow this is like really familiar like this is like pretty exact we've got transmissions symptoms and resist Okay. Cows become vectors. Infectivity increases in rural countries. I guess let's do that. I don't think we want to develop uh, symptoms. Infectivity is already pretty high. Look at that corner thing. Did any of the ports change with some of these islands? So like Iceland only has a, a naval port, which, wait, is that a naval ANSI? Oh no, they're getting planes flying to it. Oh, what the heck? Guess that doesn't matter. Wait a second. There's nothing in the Caribbean. So the Caribbean is going to be really easy to get to. Like the port is in Florida. That makes things like my life a lot easier. We've got all these going on. So uh, yeah, just to kind of keep in mind mind like uh different scales and stuff like that everyone's healthy oh that's a different notification temperatures dropping many countries are observing a drop in temperatures okay so we probably obviously want to use that to our advantage in terms of infecting people actually maybe we just want cold resistance yeah cold resistance that that is like the exact same naming i think in play gang 2 no 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 i don't want that i don't want that is there anything like different in terms of like uh no we get to we can only yeah we're using like the same animal oh pigeons maybe pigeons yeah let's have pigeons pigeons help us hmm diarrhea tasty iron overlord i don't think i've seen this in other games absorption of iron what is that becomes toxic and making you vulnerable that's interesting so you can have an iron deficiency and you could just have too much iron Ooh, look at this symptom paranoia haven't seen this i don't think either you can get like a bacteria that just makes you paranoid somebody's watching me every time i play plague inc and i decide to just try to infect people without showing too many symptoms everyone like calls me a baby they're like that's a baby move that's only for babies to try to just sneak a, a disease out there and, and not you know have everyone notified I i'm gonna do the hardcore mode this time let's just try to legit take people out and you know while they're finding a cure it's all good we have still only infected nine people what is up with that i think i started in a really hot area and then i decided to get cold resistance and that probably wasn't a good idea unusual rains environmentalists organize social events to raise yeah yeah no social distancing here this is going to be a lot more educational than i thought it was <laughs> hundreds of people are carrying booty cheeks i knew that was gonna happen classic youtuber move put ridiculous name at as the, the thing and, and just watch. You can indirectly influence which countries... <laughs> That one kind of got me. <laughs> Haven't heard of that one. Just got a notification that the digital markets are increasing the economy, which is probably a bad sign for me. I would assume that's probably bad. All right, now that infected number is really going up. Cheek tumors. Now we have cheek tumors. Abnormal growth that body tissues that uh, they could... Okay, yeah. Wow, their official statement is that it's harmless. Wow, we got lucky with that. Right. Harmless. Never mind. I guess they have doubled back on their first claim. It seems like they need to find a cure. Wow, okay. There's a lot more bubbles than I expected. The bubbles are popping up everywhere. Whoa, I think I'm going a little too fast right now. I just realized like the numbers are uh, starting to get a little ridiculous. This game's actually a lot more difficult to the, touch the DNA bubbles. I mean, it, I, at least I got the speed for it. It's faster, but harder because they're tiny. Oh, anarchy. Cool. So we got a lot of countries that just went dark. Pretty sure those like don't really aren't really existing anymore. Where have we seen this one before? Cool. Okay, fun times. We just destroyed all of humanity. Pretty straightforward. That was exactly Plague Inc. Uh, I was defeated, but I we need to move on to the next one. All right, this one's definitely not an exact clone actually it's far from it i don't even know if this really i mean this barely counts we, we get to infect people that's for sure apocalypse the story here we go basically we get to use a bunch of different methods to uh destroy the earth so that'll be fun okay very yeah lots of disasters so basically it's my job to go around collecting these things they're going to pop around the globe and then when i get enough of them i can choose how like what sort of disasters i want to uh put onto the world and take them all out so we've got all these different categories i can start some conflicts or some bio catastrophes Catastrophes, tech catastrophes, asteroids, you know, ozone layers, the, the normal stuff. Typical, typical. Obviously, we're going to start with this just because that's kind of our theme here. In Western Europe, there is an epidemic of an unknown... Okay, yep, let's just do that. A man within a week? That's, that's not a very high rate. Now, we could choose between these other trees and decide to go in a certain direction. You probably want to, like, combine it with the right other storyline. Whichever one you choose, you got to keep all that stuff in mind. Here we go. Okay, so in Europe, we're going to give a bunch of people rabies. Now, that's 
cool. I myself am going out there biting people and uh, that's how it's spreading. I feel like we've gone down that one path enough so let's go ahead and choose the conflict path and uh, just you know do a nice little merge of these two bad things. Let's go ahead and do this. So the US is beginning operations in Turkey and Japan and uh, Russia is angry. All right so let's see like how this goes. Let's collect some stuff. Oh okay we we're gonna have some news. This lady don't look so good. So not only is there fighting going on in this continent but we've also got like a lot of sick people I guess okay the world's upside down it's hard to see but yeah this continent specifically is getting messed up so I feel like this option would probably take too many people out at first and then humans would probably just continue to be cavemen uh, you know our job still here is to destroy everyone let's keep going and uh, making rabies better I guess an asteroid never really hurt anyone I don't think it should destroy everyone but it should be able to like just directly hit a certain region Did I really say asteroids never hurt anyone I mean I'm sorry to my dinosaur friends but the what is University of Colorado discovered the asteroid Asteroid Carl, why why is it named that? All right, we'll pick that one then. Is this some sort of metaphor that I'm not getting? How are we doing with that number? So the population's still going up right now, surprisingly. Wait, is it? No, it's going down slightly. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It looked like it was going up. Let's go ahead and have this asteroid hit Alaska. Like that's gonna take out like 20 people, right? I think I made a mistake. Wait, okay, now this option makes me a little bit worried because if they have heavy duty deep bunkers, then that would probably like they might survive basically is what I'm trying to say so as you can see just like in other games like the red is starting to just come across the map oh yeah this place is getting messed up oh cool so we're gonna make our uh, little thing rabies it's gonna turn people into zombies so uh, yeah so even though they were fighting back in like Russia or something uh, now they're gonna have to just go after and take out the zombie people. Scientists experimenting with an alien cube. That sounds like a terrible idea. People began a rescue to save humanity from it. Oh no, 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 no. We need to continue to take people out before they're rescued. I don't know who's rescuing them from like all these bad things that are going on. Maybe there are good aliens or something. Here we go, self-replicating machines fill the planet and the whole atmosphere with great speed. So is this gonna be enough? Is this gonna be like this, this rate? I don't know if it's gonna save us. Uh, unfortunately people managed to escape, but do not. So they must have escaped to like a different planet or something. Oh, some are, some are. So now it's a race to see like how many people I can take out and then how many people are still gonna survive on uh, Mars. I don't know where they're going. There we go, let's just have them drop a nuke. That sounds good, can't go wrong with that. You lose, humanity managed to escape, dang it. And that wasn't even a good start thing. I didn't do that good, I guess. Hey, only eight, only 8,500 people were saved. So I think we did okay. They could probably make it back though. They could probably continue the species. All right, so this last one's called Bio Inc. And uh, it's a little bit different. Obviously it's gonna, it's gonna play with our theme here. So we're starting easy. We already have a pretty like uh, unhealthy person that I guess we got to take down. I think we're only supposed to take out one individual and I'm just going to make sure that individual is the biggest loser imaginable. Drew Donnell is overweight, sedentary, whatever that, a junk food addict and a smoker. Woo! Use these risk factors to your advantage to upgrade. Okay. And then we got to terminate Drew Donnell before doctors find a cure. Yes, let's go. Been waiting for this my whole life. Finally, I got to do it. So I think we're supposed to go around and look at all these different um, systems, bacteria and vi Okay. Yeah, I need to look carefully for certain things that are going to pop up in uh, different parts of my body and uh, we're going to use that to our advantage to take me out. It's about time someone does it. Oh my goodness. Oh, I did not know that we were going to go in that direction. Okay, great. Spin the wheel. Woo! Let's see what we going to get. And come on, baby. Give me a good one. Give me a good one. Oh, that one's okay. That one's okay. If it was back in the day, it, I think what, like the medieval ages, that would have definitely taken me out. First of all, this is already extremely uh, unrealistic because that does not happen. That That is not going on in my life. I wish it would. I wish it would. <laughs> so already we have a pretty bad nervous system and uh, muscular system. Is that what that's saying? Oh no, it's going down. It's not bad, but you know, we need to get, we need to, get to, to zero percent. I think we just have to take out one of these categories to, uh, to win. So depending on like how weak my certain areas of the body are, we would go down that route and then start like just going down these trees and, and hurting me. So right now, probably our best chance is to attack my brain. That seems to be the weakest. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Okay, so let's go ahead and increase my stress levels. Now we're going to give myself chronic stress. This is getting a little too real. And then we also need to make sure that I don't recover. So there's different little categories that I can go after. There's recovery, risk factors, and then the disease part. Or no, is under a lot of stress. Yes. What else is new? So now my brain or whatever this is, is down to 88%. I shouldn't call it my brain, it's my nervous system, but yeah, that's fine too. So we're gonna give myself some chronic stress. I got something going on in my hip, that's great. Oh, a lot of things going on in my hip area. Ooh, that nervous system's really dropping. It is dropping. Now, just do a nervous breakdown. Very cool. It's been about 
70 days and we're getting myself to like at least three quarters of a nervous uh i don't even know what's gonna happen to me. immune shield the immune system acts as a shield from back to okay so by lowering yes we need to do that oh no visit to the doctor symptoms are worsening okay we we don't need to go to the doctor he's trying to treat the illness so we need to stop them ah i should have got this earlier i could have given myself a fear of hospitals ah nervous breakdown has been cured so i think it's gonna slowly rise up uh oh okay so there's this another cure mechanic it's called recovery though i'm at five percent Ooh, i can give myself dementia pretty soon so i'm being cured whoa what is going on right there flu epidemic cool you can launch oh yes i gotta watch an ad well it's probably worth it <sighs> All right, cool. So it's dementia time. I'm at 13% recovery, so we're looking okay. Yeah, I really want to give myself that fear of hospitals, but I'm already recovering, so does it even matter? Let's go ahead and make myself over 60 years old. I'll put myself in a DeLorean and see what happens. Wait a second, I'm over 60 and I have dementia? There's no way I should survive this. <gasps> what? It's been cured? You can cure that? Well, I can make myself just generally unlucky. That sounds cool. Ooh, yeah, workaholic. So I'm over 60, working 60 hours. I'm generally unlucky. I also have syphilis. You know, it seems like I I wouldn't even want to be surviving like in general anymore I don't know where my will to live is coming from okay so now I give myself burnout and then I'll finally be able to do major depression Whew, this is uh this is hitting close to home now oh no emergency room critical condition no they're intensing their efforts on myself it's got to be something I can do I guess more dementia never hurt anyone please 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 d no don't uh survive oh man I could have done this bad doctor's thing that would have helped oh whoops I need to take out other things too thought I just had to take out that one thing okay potassium deficiency let's make sure that bad doctors are working on me. I guess give myself the flu. Can't help but think that I wasted a lot of my points and things I shouldn't have invested in. Ooh, bronchitis. High cholesterol. There we go. Some of these don't seem as impactful as others. Can't believe I attacked just one thing this whole time. Bam! There we go! Yes! Yes! About time. Finally. Very happy about that. Okay, yeah, that I did very poorly. I had like one star. That was, uh, yeah, it took way too long. Oh, dementia is what got me, though, ultimately. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And big thanks to the Patreon supporters. Drew's Uncle Hiltar. Alfie C. Elijah Senpai. Swiss Argo. Plugs and Berg Lover. Maxi G. Pito. Alfonso M6. Militon. Pan Kualaska. Palofsky. Sleeper 56. Vinny Chang. Tyler Beach. Ballin' Like Stall. Seth A. Mayonnaise Incorporated. Riley A. Public Education. Thanks again.